Now look, you've seen Emmy Award nominee actor Papa Aseyadu in shows like Black Mirror and Gangs of London, but now you can catch him on Sundays at 9 p.m. on TNT in The Lazarus Project. I spoke to Papa the other day about this new heart-pounding, head-spinning thriller, time travel, and how he picks his next role. Check Papa, thank you so much for being here this morning. Oh, wow. It's such a pleasure to be here with you today. Thank you for having me. No problem. Anytime you want to come here. We actually have to get you out to the Pacific Northwest. I know you're fond of this view. <laughs> we got to Yeah, man. I think if, if, I'm, if I found myself there, I'm not coming back. Do you know what I mean? It'd be a kidnapping job. So you'll have, you'll have a lot of questions to answer. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, let's talk about the Lazarus Project. Uh, tell me a little more about what this this series is all about. Yeah, so the Lazarus Project is a kind of um, yeah, it's a it's it's a show that exists in in between and, and within many genres, but it's essentially about um a guy called George who's a uh, every man kind of like no very normal type dude who um is living a very normal life until some there's quite a big revelation that is made to him that that leads to him being invited to take part and be a part of this multinational organization which are responsible for preventing and reversing uh, world ending events by turning back time and resetting time back to a certain date in each individual year which happens to be the first of july so we we see george kind of like uh, earn his stripes within that um within that organization um but yeah the, the series really he starts to get going when he's um when, when uh, yeah i mean something uh, happens in his personal life which uh forces him to ask the question of like does he follow his individual desire or does he keep on the path of uh, taking care of the greater good and you know i you have done so many projects in your career tell me how you pick your characters I always like try to make sure that I, I, I get involved in projects that are going to stretch me, that are going to challenge me, that are going to present um, an, a, a, a world maybe that I'm unfamiliar with, give me an opportunity to learn something. But yeah, it's always going to be about like how like truthful and authentic the um, experience I can make both for myself and for the people that engage with my artistry, you know, like it's never about like doing something that's going to, you know, get the most views or doing something that's going to, you know, make me look good or whatever. It's always about something that's going to um, provide something new or a new perspective on something for, for people. I think that's what we want as viewers is you know we live in this world where we get so many options you know we get so many so many different like um beautiful and brilliant projects available for us to to consume you have to make sure that what, whatever you're involved in is as truthful and authentic as possible to allow it to rise to the top yeah and we hear the accent in, in your voice so i have to ask what what's the difference between american projects and projects outside of outside of america um you know, everyone likes to think that there are huge differences, but like, I think good work is good work. And it doesn't matter if it's in America, if it's in the UK, if it's coming out of Korea, if it's coming out of Nigeria, whatever, like, um, our artists can kind of vibe with each other. And that happens like both within the same medium and, and across media. You know, I love working with musicians. I love working with visual artists, whatever. So, um, yeah, America is obviously, um, a place that like I've got so much respect and love for and like I've worked in America and and I've got a lot of you know creative partners in America and friends in America but um, the world is a big place you know and there's a, there, there, there's a lot of beautiful stuff coming all over the world so yeah I have to say my grandma is a huge fan of things created outside of America so she has dragged me into that so I'm now just kind of <laughs> like throwing myself into things that are created in the UK and kind of just seeing the difference and really appreciating artwork that we, you know, don't always mm -hmm. have here. So I, I love it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, you know what? I'm like, I'm just like so excited for Amer an American audience to be able to engage with this show that we've made because that like, we really made it for as many people to enjoy as possible. And I think it's something that an American audience will respond really well to. Yeah, well, we cannot wait. I'm pushing everyone to tune in to the Lazarus Project. Thank you so much for being here this morning. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'll see you in Portland.